Hi, today my review is on the Moral Instruments um, trilogy by Cassandra Clare. So this is um, a trilogy of books, um, which is an aspect I really like about this series, because basically it's one story told over three books, and um, with like little new aspects in between. But um, I guess that whole trilogy aspect is only cancelled out now because the author, Cassandra Clare, has decided to make um, a new trilogy of books um, based on the same characters in the same world. And the first book of that new trilogy is out in April, City of Fallen Angels. And um, it's going to be from more than one person's point of view. So I'm really looking forward to this um, new Mortal Instruments book coming out. Um, because originally we thought that was just the end with those the three books out now, but it's nice to know that, there, that there's going to be more. Um, it's a series about shadow hunters, and basically they fight supernatural creatures, but um, shadow hunters are born and um, into like certain families, and they have, basically they have this like one thing, and they draw symbols onto their body, and which gives them certain powers, and it's a magical world um, with vampires and werewolves and fae and all different sort of creatures. But the books are beautifully written um, and the author created such an um, urban magical world because it's set in New York, but it's kind of a different side of New York you usually read in books. And um, the author has great attention to detail and um, she writes great witty one-liners and um, there's great um, banter between the characters, which um, I actually enjoy in this book because um, that type of kind of banter between characters is great when it's done well, and it's done well in th these books. And um, there's a great bunch of characters in there, and um, it's an exciting, appropriately paced story with plenty of action-filled moments. Um, so I think it's overall it's a great trilogy of books. The story is really enjoyable and um, there's great um, surprises and the reveals are really well done I think and there's plenty of um, twists. So it's, it's really good and um, I actually have the books here. Um, City of Bones is the first one and um, they're actually really long books. Well not really long, I mean I don't mind that they're long but they're um, pretty chunky. And um, City of Ashes is the next one, and again it's quite chunky, and City of Glass is the final one. Okay. And um, yep, so they're really good, I do recommend them definitely. Um, they are making a movie adaption of these books, well of the first one anyway. So I suggest you read the books before the movie comes out because Sometimes the movie might taint your opinion of a certain series and you can never get the original quality back after you've seen the movie. So I suggest you do read them before the movie comes out. Which will be another way, yeah. Um, okay, so that is my relatively spoiler-free review. Um, if you don't want to know any details about these series, um, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so as I said, I really enjoyed this series. Um, the characters are really, they're good. Um, the main girl, um, Clary, 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 I think, um, she is a, she's a good protagonist because she's a nice balance of kind of strength and um, vulnerability, which is nice. Um, Jace, he's, I know he's very popular in the kind of teen book world. Um, he's a good character, he's kind of dark and mysterious and um, I like his instant protectiveness of Clary but he doesn't smother her, like you know, he's not too kind of intense and he, you know, he comes out with some great lines as well and um, the Lightwoods family, they're great, um, I like how the author wrote Alec as, um, you know, he's a, he's gay, he's a gay character, but she didn't make an issue out of it like some o other authors do. You know, oh, he just happens to be gay, that's grand. And he's just as masculine as, as Jay, so like, it's not a big deal. Um, and Simon, I really liked Simon. And originally I kind of wanted him and um, Clary to get together. Cause I don't know why, but I always go for the friend. Um, but 
But um, I really, I really like Clary and Simon's friendship in the books. I think it's one of the best relationships in the whole series. And um, another great relationship, and I think um, it's kind of understated, is um, Luke and Clary's relationship. Um, I think it's it's really nice and special to see and um, how close they are, even though they're not, you know, related by blood. He um, it takes. Clary meeting her biological father to realise Luke really is her father. And I wish they kind of explored um, them as a kind of bonded pair more. Jason Clary as a couple, I think they, you know, they're one of those good fiction and little novel couples out there. Um, they're, they got quite epic towards the end and they, they have nice interactions but they're not too intense as a couple. Um, but I wasn't really happy with the um, author's choice of like how we make this couple star cross lovers. But um, what was her obstacle? That they're related. So finding out that Clary and Jace are brother and sister, I thought it was a devastating revelation. I mean, it's grand for the author. She knows in the end, you know, it doesn't matter if they're going to get together. But while you're reading it, like, I didn't know how to feel about them. Like, I didn't know whether to root for them to get together or just kind of say, okay, they're brother and sister, they can't. So, I thought that was a strange, like, the incestuous thing was a strange way to go, to be honest. But I guess it all worked out in the end because they weren't brother and sister and they got to be happy and got to be together. But, um, yeah, when you're first reading the books, it's, it's kind of a, a tough, tough blow to take if you're a big, big fan of the Jason Clary couple. But anyway, um, I wasn't a big fan of Valentine, the, um, the baddie of the series. Um, I did think like you got a good sense of how evil he is, but like you're, I think you should, even a little bit, like the evil characters, find something compelling about him. But I didn't really find that with this series of books. Max's death, I thought, was devastating. Um, they really... Like, the author didn't hold back. She really, like, killed the most vulnerable character in the book. Which is, which is really sad. Usually, I don't like books that switch point of view. I, I want to stick with the one character as a narrator. But um, in the third book, um, City of Glass, the author um, kind of changed it up. Like, there was... Everyone kind of got a chance to narrate the, the book. Which, um, and I didn't actually mind it, um, so I don't really mind that the next trilogy as well is going to have a little bit of that changing point of views, because um, it gives you a chance to get involved in the story from everyone's ang from all angles, and um, most of the time that's not done well, but, but in this case it's done well. So um, overall, I, I I think it's a great series. Um, there's not too many negatives to be honest to say about it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's perfect but it's, it's definitely one of the top series out there. Um, just a note on the movie, um, I read this trilogy ages ago, way before they even mentioned other movie. But um, I, I just hope that people stop, like, I just hope that people um, don't focus too much on the movie and remember um, the quality of the books. Um, Let's get off the movies. The books, the books are really good. Definitely recommend it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the next one coming out in April. So um, thanks very much for watching my review today. And if you have any comments about the series, don't forget to um, make one. So thanks.